Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm in Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2007 Chevrolet StarTrans party bus. Let's check it out. Hi, welcome to the party. It's just me. This bus has got some cool features in it, and I'm excited to show them to you, and I'll point them out. Uh, first things first, we got uh, some nice wraparound seating here. Um, you'll see drink uh, holders, or cup holders, whatever you want to call them, wrapping all the way around the, uh, the window line there. Uh, seats are in pretty good condition. They have, you know, your normal wear and tear here and there. But uh, as far as, you know, big holes, foam sticking out, anything like that, looks great going all the way down. <clears throat> Uh, we got some uh, some diamond stitching, and then this looks like a studded stitching. I'm not really sure what to call that, but uh, alligator. alligator stitching, something like that. It does look good. Uh, first thing, so this thing is a total of about like two bars here. So you got your, uh, it does have a champagne glass holders um, in there where you can put the champagne glasses. Uh, down here, we got your ice boxes in there. It does have a drain as well, so when the ice starts melting. More drink holders, champagne bottle right there. And uh, all your nice features in there with a uh, with a backlit wall there as well. Uh, looks like kind of got like a silver carbon fiber type of background there. If you can see that, looks pretty cool, pretty sleek. Uh, up top here, we also have uh, the transition panel here. Also has the uh, studded or alligator finish, whatever you want to call it. Uh, speakers on the sides, these are kickers, so a little bit of an upgrade from your normal uh, you know, OEM speaker or whatever. Uh, lights in the transition panels as well as grab rails so you know if someone needs to stand while the bus is moving or whatever they need uh, it does have emergency exits so you got the, the handles here so it remains safe and everything um, coming all the way to the back uh, we do have a HDMI port that can go to this TV so even for like corporate events things like that if you got your uh, you know your uh, sales team in here and want to Play a slideshow or something you can hdmi that into it uh light light, light controls here have a sony uh am fm cd stereo bluetooth that's uh, got an aux port so whoever's in there can plug in their phone as well as usb and then you got your main control panel here so the floor lights the bar lights the ceiling lights interiors the lasers all of that stuff can be controlled back here by the user and then um back here we got a big cooler with uh that is uh, mounted in the back, and we'll show you another uh, view of that from the from the rear luggage area. Uh, up top here, we have a uh, here's your uh, ceiling mounted AC evaporator. Now, one cool thing about this bus, it does have three AC compressors, so it's almost like a it can be like a meat freezer in here if you want. So it's got great AC for anywhere in the country. Uh, it'll get cold a lot quicker and faster. <clears throat> Uh, going down the uh, passenger side of the vehicle here, uh, here's your other bar. It's equipped just like the other one on the driver's side. Uh, you got your uh, your ice boxes there, champagne right there, champagne glasses, drinks, the whole nine yards, and also backlit. And then uh, going down the the uh, the top of the bus here, we got some LED strips up top. We have grab rails. Up top here so if people are you know moving down the bus to you know moved and talked to wherever they have places to uh, grab onto <clears throat> uh, pretty spacious bus the uh, the previous owner operator ran this as a 32 passenger comfortably and then a maximum of around 36 is what they told me so I'm not a limo operator but that is what uh, they ran it as so shouldn't have any problem fitting 32 comfortably uh, in the back here might not be able to pick it up on the camera but there's a laser here that does the whole laser thing and then a little bar sign here as well just to you know add a little cool to it uh, but yeah so that is the interior of the bus and now we're gonna show you the engine area and the outside all right now we're gonna check out the outside so uh, this is powered by the Duramax 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel engine this is on the Chevrolet C5500 chassis and the uh, engine area looks great. It's not cra crazy rusty, anything like that. Uh, this was a uh, this party bus was operating in the Seattle area. 
and it was actually converted from a normal shuttle bus to a, to a party bus in 2016 so the conversion is you know fairly new I'm uh, gonna show you the front driver's side tire here got a lot of tread left on that those are Michelin's so top-of-the-line brand there and then uh, there is the stainless steel wheel covers which just add an extra little shine to the vehicle uh, coming down the side here this is a, this has been painted black as you can see obviously and uh, this does have bonded windows on it so uh, instead of your normal windows that are kind of sticking out with the t-sliders up top this is a bonded window kind of gives it that executive look to it executive feel and it makes it look like a flat one flat window there uh, the AC condenser fans are underneath here those are your skirt mounted AC condensers and uh, you got a lot of them things got a huge AC on it you keep it nice and cool uh, armored marker lights everything's been converted to LEDs uh, the previous owner uh, always loves doing that and uh, all LEDs on the side here and uh, Mike's showing you a nice uh, pan of the paint there got a few runs here and there but nothing too crazy still uh, still has some good shine to it looks like we got a little bit of action here uh, they did a little touch-up paint there or something just want to point that out uh, Michael's gonna show you the rear driver side duels as well as a nice pan of the undercarriage if you can get under there not a rusty bus by any means all right come around the back uh, we do have a bit of action here it looks like the uh, I'd use some silicone or something right here uh, it doesn't you know it doesn't look horrible but it's just something I want to point out just a little bit of like cracking here things like that you know it does have it does have some wear and tear on the bus but overall it does it does show show fairly well <clears throat> all right on the back here armored lights again got your uh, brakes and turn signals uh, lights up on the top there and so uh, the back here there is a rear luggage area it has been reduced a little bit to make room for uh, all the electronics underneath here and that's what this curtain is for you can see underneath there we have your uh, DVD player right there and so uh, if there's a preloaded DVD you can put it in there uh, underneath that you got all your relays there and then uh, your your, your uh, inverter and then your amps for the uh, speakers and subs and I believe the previous owner said that there were some subs located underneath the seats inside so I think there's two of them underneath there and then to our all the way to our right here here's that cooler where the, uh, the that you saw on the very back uh, on the inside so that's what it looks like there with a little drain going out but uh, this also can be used if your uh, if your guests do have some uh, some luggage they want to store they can throw it in here there's plenty of room for bags backpacks things, things, things like that all right coming around the uh the mic showing you that little crack there yeah that's something to point out just want to show you the good the bad and the ugly few few little scratches in the back here you can see there again if if any of this is a big deal to you we work with a great paint shop and we, we can definitely uh, figure out what would make you happy. Um, on, the, on the right side here, bonded windows again going down. <clears throat> Looking good. And Mike's going to show you the uh, rear passenger side duels here. Tires are looking good. Those are Samson's in the rear. So a few different brands of tires. But uh, tread looks great on those. <laughs> There's that, uh, that, that seam there, kind of looks the same on the other side. A little bit of cracking here, but nothing too crazy. We can really only see it up close. And uh, coming all the way up to the front, I want to show you this uh, front passenger side tire before we uh, go on inside and look, look at the driver area. If you look right here, got your uh, AC compressors there, two of those, and that's what's uh, that's what's dri dri dripping down there. And um, yeah, the uh, so the, that's not like a leak or anything. That's just the uh, the the condensation. The uh, hoses are sweating. But yeah, let's uh, after you've seen that, we're gonna go check out the uh, driver area. All right. 
right, so now we're in the uh, driver area or the cockpit, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, pretty basic, we got your AC controls here for the driver, backup camera here, and then uh, you know your driver climate controls right here. Uh, down here, uh, they kind of re repurpose some of the buttons. The reading light button is actually what turns off and on everything back there. And then simple door close, if you look to the right, door close and door open. Very simple, it's just, uh, you don't have to hold it down, it's just a one push button there. Uh, and then up here, uh, Michael, show you 126,000 miles in this baby. Definitely got a lot of life left. And uh, this is also a uh, an air ride driver seat. If I can find the controls here, but uh, yeah, so it had, does have an upgraded driver seat that'll get your controls on the side to make it uh, a little, little more comfortable for your driver. Well, thanks for coming to the party. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you like this bus or any other bus in our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099, visit us at nwbus.com, or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching.